Hello everyone and welcome back my dear viewers a special episode or special episodes today for us all we are going to make progress we downed uh, oversi overseer UFO so this is it guys this is what we have been waiting for past already prepared the mission already here we go the overseer went down we have 15 aliens on site Heavy floaters, mutant elites, sector pods, drones and mutants and most important of all an ethereal which is always in this um, overseer UFO by the way and we are going to try to stun it. So there you go, send the sky ranger, everything has been prepared, let's launch. Let's launch. Actually, it has Prepare been quite a few days since I prepared that team, so I'm actually not sure how many of each class will be with us. The drop site this operation will be in Canada. We've locked in the coordinates of the alien crash site. Fortunately, the civilian population in the surrounding area is minimal. We have to move to secure the area as quickly as possible. All right, Bradford. No special mention about the nature of the CFO. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not complaining. Finally, they I got an overseer you buy. The most advanced technology. Ah. So it's safe to assume whatever they've gotten there is crucial to their invasion effort. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not going to make this easy on us. Alrighty, okay. Now a somewhat special mention of the nature of this mission. Good. Uh, yeah, this is a very large map, it appears. Yeah, here. Here's the corner of the, uh, the map on this side. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's like three screens to this side. Oh, and one additional here. So five screens in total. Okay. Okay, so we are more on the left than we are on the right. So we should move to the left to decrease possible activations of monster po pods. Let me have a quick look at the uh, layout of our team. Okay, two ships, I remembered correctly. Only two ships with us. That makes it hard. We have Kali, our uh, engineer here. Then we have Shu Sang is a scout with a laser, pi laser rifle. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. I remember we had problems. We have two snipers with us, don't we? Yes, Ana Lucia and Umberto. Cool. And then we have Peter van Dorn as an infantrist. Infantry guy. Yes, with a um, pulse rifle. And another infantry. Artyom. What? Oh no, you're assault. Peter van Dorn is an assault. Sorry. But again, not with a uh, with the usual scatter blaster. No, with a pulse rifle. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, two snipers, an engineer, a scout, an infantry guy, and an assault. Interesting. So, who is wearing which ship is wearing? the bigger armor the b3 is b3 is core armoring yeah all right all right so you take point move over here and we'll see what happens all right wonderful next b4 moves over here b4 is actually a b4 b4 is wearing heat ammo all right it's carrying heat ammo so that's good to know Assault. Affirmative. Stay close to the shifts at least. Then we have infantry. Sure. Is this cover? Well, in this direction at Heading least. There okay, now. good. And engineer. I'm rolling. I'm rolling, says Kadi. She's our commanding officer, by the way, also. Okay, scout. I'm on the move. You have low profile, so this will be... No, you don't have low profile. Why don't you have low profile? What type of scout are you? Deadeye. Oh, okay. We took Deadeye instead of low profile? That's mighty interesting. 
All right, you have low profile and you are a sniper with an archangel armor. So low profile doesn't even help. Okay. Um. Shall we start flying on you or shall we rather... I think I want to just luck. stay on the ground for now until we know where the aliens are. Could be that all of them are in the uh, UFO. It's possible. Okay. Two snipers take this and everyone else. Moving on to one. Play, That's my first turn of the Overseer mission, guys. Oh, this is going to be perfect. You're going to stun everything. Okay, there is melt in this direction. Does that mean the UFO is in this, this direction? We might actually be heading in the wrong direction. It's totally possible. Totally. Okay, I want to use B move with B3 first. So like over here. No, here's the UFO. Excellent. That's where we want to go because that's where the UFO, uh, the aliens will show up most likely. Most likely. So our infantry guy stays close. Although, wouldn't it be better to have high cover with the infantry Moving guy out. because he is going to shoot twice. Once hostility break out. Hostilities. All right. Yeah, we can uh, now. stay with the ships with the uh, assault, of course, because we want to move the assault next turn. Right, okay, cool. Okay. Then Kali takes these low covers here. Our scout needs to be close. I think the scout is going to move to that before the ships, potentially, when we run into overwatches, right? Okay. And I'm wondering, wouldn't it be better to spread out the snipers a little bit because of line of sight issues and stuff? So one sniper here and one sniper in this direction, but if I move over here, if I might trigger something. Safe would be over uh -huh. here. So let's do that. Donna Lucia. Alright, cause. Cool. I feel right, target. And uh, why don't you study your weapon? Done. Okay, I'm hearing the sector pod. It is inside the UFO. That's destroying everything. I'm still hoping for UFO power sources. But this thing looks very destroyed anyway. Alright, alright. So, B3, you as always. Move forward. Like over here. No contacts. Good, good. Doom, doom, doom. So Closing on actually target. Just move the whole I'm formation it, forward. It's fine. Uh, you can actually take this high cover now. Yes, sir. Yeah, infantry behind behind high cover makes a whole sense to me okay and engineer can take this high cover over here and all right cool 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 and now the sneepers 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 snipers sneepers I don't want line of sign issues and I have high um, obstacles over here so even that log is going to block line of sight if something here pops up. So I need my uh, need to move away from here or start flying in order to get vision here. So that's what we're going to do. Start flying, Ana Lucia. There, and now you can study your web. Cool, and the. Other scout can actually remain here, I guess. Why not? This half cover should be good, line of sight wise. Oh, let's take this. Alright, cool. Everyone else, all the on target. What? What are you doing? Oh yeah, you're standing behind Tiger. 
So B3 again. So far so good, everyone. So far so good. Uh, why don't you take this blue move here? Yes. Okay, no contacts over here. Damn, look at that UFO. That UFO looks trashed. Pretty much. But it is ge getting dangerous uh, now. We are getting into the area where we are going to trigger something. Not this turn, mind you, but soon. Peter van Dorn. In motion. Over here. All right. And our scout. Infantry. Can you take that high cover over here, infantry? Or this one? I'd rather have this one, I guess. Depends on where we are going to go next turn. Are we going to say hello through the main door? Or would you rather go here? I think I, th I want to follow the map edge, so I will go into this area. Um, so this high cover here is more Target appealing to me. On our way. There you go. There was a small chance that we might trigger something here at the edge of the line of sight, but not... That chance wasn't that high. Alright, Engineer. I'm we can move over here. Wonderful. And then we have... The Scout. Without... Without low profile. <clears throat> I might add. Okay. The thing is, if I move over here... I have high mobility. It doesn't really matter where I am before I uh, run through enemy overwatches next turn, if any. Whether here or here should, shouldn't make any difference. Moving. So I'll move into the high cover. It's fine. So, and we have our snipers left. I can't move. I would rather stand here than here. But I think this is a good compromise. Or move over here. No, then this is in the way. Yeah. This is in the way most of the time, actually. Hmm, I don't like it go somewhere more direct. I don't want to be too close. Like over here. It's a full move, but it's fine. And I want my other sniper, not the whole other team. Alright, so is it better to move one forward here? With the sniper? No, I think I want to stay where I am to save fuel, you know. All right, everyone else, Overwatch. Roger, I've got target. my eyes on. Does my engineer Hello? have a stun gun in, in her hand? I think she has. Uh, of course, because of uh, yeah, we want to stun the Ethereal. Yes, I remember. Okay, yes, Melt is over here, but the aliens are somewhere else. I guess. I think this turn will be the turn where we discover something. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, B3 moves it first. As always, move in, B3. If the aliens have reserved this cloaking technology specifically to hide this ship, we can only assume it is carrying something extremely valuable. Oh, very dangerous. I miss Valen on this one. This is a this is a treasure trove and not a trap. Nothing ever has uh, um, come out to be a trap in the end. Hmm. All right, so it seems this part of the map is pretty much without action. All right, it's fine with me. Uh, infantry, where is our infantry? Where is our infantry? Over here. Yeah. Okay, Double I want you time. here then, infantry. High cover. Assault. Scouts engineer. None of these actually need high cover. I actually want my uh, 
and sure. I saw it very close with the shifts always. Because that's the most forward position, and that's where the scout, uh, where this assault needs to be. All right, the scout moves into this high cover here then, and engineer can take I'm on the move. this low cover and this sniper. Moves over there, hopefully not triggering anything. Alright, cool. Ah, I can point at her from here. Nice. Okay. Steady your weapon and everyone else overwatch. Overwatch. Eyes on the aye, aye. Okay. You say eyes on the target. Let's have some targets here. What? Sight. Where are you guys coming from? You're falling into my back here. What? This is the worst ever. The front line is over here and not back there. Oh my god, my scout, my sniper is in a very bad position. This is the worst. Let me see what you see. Your your aim chances should be very, very low because they are still giving cover and you are very close. Okay, 100%. But because you're a good sniper, you're getting 100%. Also, you steady your weapon. But still, um, we shouldn't fight them from here because I'm pretty sure we can't kill them all. And she's in a very exposed position here. Very exposed. Man, that is no good. I can't even remember when was the last time that I was being surprised by that. Like that. Yeah, okay. We need to move back and try to help. Any way or form possible. Okay, this is going to block sight, right? So if we move over here, we might get sight. Or if we... Yeah, this is going to definitely block sight. Uh, assault. Can move into high cover over here. Or one of these high covers. So one shift mo moves over here, so that they can see him. The other shift stays there as well. Okay. Now engineer, Kami. Oh, this is only half cover. It's no good. Half covers over here, everywhere. Well, this is this should be good enough. Yeah, I cover and then we can throw a smoke over here. In preparation of our other guys moving over here, like Artyom, so that Artyom can shoot next turn. Right? Let's do, do it. This. Then we have our scout. Let's move over here. This. Let's hope they. Uh, oh, they could lob grenades. Whoa. Oh, my sniper from back here sees all enemies. That's okay. You know what is not okay? That I'm not flying. So let's do that first. And let's stay out of sight. Alright, and now we are steadying the weapon for the next turn. And Peter van Dorn, our assaults could move over here. We would be completely out of sight. And then next turn, surprise him with run and gun. Confirmed Let's coordinates. Do that. Okay. And who do we have left? Our engineer, yes. So we wanted to move over here and throw a smoke. Moving out. 
makes sense to me. Roll the smoke. Uh, Alright, let's make it so that the ones that are visible are inside the smoke grenade. I like that. Alright, let's do it. Throw the smoke. Smoke out! Smoke out! Alright, cool. And now we need to get you out of sight. Or behind high cover. That is... Problematic at best. Oh, we could land over here, maybe. Where are you actually? You are here. I think you have high enough mobility to get here. We will see. Toggle the flight. No, not enough mobility. But we can move over here. That works. Do it. Let's get out of there. Alright, that's my turn. So let's just hope that their turn. They got the jump on us. No question about that. There was not a single shot that I could fire at them this turn. Um, let's just hope that we can act accordingly next turn. Okay. Man, that must be the first time that I see enemies pop up from the direction of our evacuation zone. That must really be the first time. Okay, here comes some blood call. That's not good. Another blood... What? Why are they doing it twice? Oh, so that gives the other dude also a blood call? Nice. Okay. Whoa. Are they flanking us? God damn it. That's not a flank. They, they did hit us through high cover and, well, not, not a smoke, but, see, it's not a flank, it's not a flank, okay. Okay, I got hit for seven, I think I can live with that. So these two are obviously the more dangerous dudes. 66 and 66. All right, we need to get a holo targeting up. That's so much is for sure. Uh, yeah. You don't have holo targeting, but you have rapid fire. So I could move over here rapid fire without using run and gun even. That's a thing. I don't want to use my uh, stun charges on these guys. I need that for my aerial. I'm pretty glad and actually thankful. I'm, I feel gratitude here towards the game that they present me only with these guys as my enemies right now. They could have just triggered all. But no, it's just a new taunt. Alright, so my scout is usually the one who needs to apply holo targeting, so let's do that. <clears throat> could move over here, but that. Well, let's assume we can deal with these. Let's assume that. Okay. Look sharp. Enemies oh, sh rolling up. I just said that they are not sandwiching us with aliens. Now this. I'm flanked. I'm flanked. They got me They're flanked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is uh. Wow. Not good. This can one shot me. Okay. I need to trigger that Overwatch. Thankfully, it only sees my uh, scout. So that's good. So no holy targeting this time. Where are you moving, scout? Where are you going to? It's hard to say. We need cover in this direction. So like over here. But the thing is... Now that the uh, scout cannot contribute to dealing with these elites... This might be a death sentence. Also, we they can flank us. So, no, 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 no. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. What about my shift? Can my shift... Should do something? To apply auto-targeting? B3 can. B4 can't. Alright. So, B3... Has auto-targeting. So, if B3 moves over here... Can we actually make use of this smoke one turn more longer. I would appreciate it. 
I could suppress one of the elites. So many ideas, so many possible actions. One thing is for sure, we are not going to kill the Sectopod this turn. So I, I'd rather concentrate on these mutant elites to bring them down. If at all possible. <sighs> the real problem also is that my sniper might get flanked by the Sectopod like, this turn. That was a real that was a real bad trigger over there. That was a real bad trigger. Okay, so once I figured out where to move my scout, I wanna move the scout. That's the very first thing I wanna do so that that overwatch goes away. It's a little hard to see where I can actually go because of that smoke too. Wait, so if Yeah, okay, we are going to move B3 over here to make use of that smoke. So we can um, move the scout here and profit from I'm on the, move. the cover that. Oh, we didn't even trigger the overwatch. Well, that's bad. Okay, move over here, B3, give some holo targeting. 24 and 24, that's one in four chance of hitting. Uh, I'd rather suppress, I guess. Or we, <laughs> we will have need of our ammunition actually. To press, yeah, I will still suppress this one. Holo targeting is applied. Cool. Now my sniper can come in. Eighty-eight percent on the other one. I think I want to risk that. Eighty-eight with a precision shot. So it's almost eighty percent on both. Uh, do it. That's the one that has not holo targeting on it. Yeah, did you see that at crit for 19? Whoa. Whoa. Alrighty. <laughs> I could move over here, run and gun, flank this guy. But, no. Uh, why did that happen? Sectopod had to come over here. Why was that necessary? I mean, maybe we could move over here or something and get rid of this one at least But it's only a half cover. I really don't like that And we would be we should be more concerned about sealing the deal on this one on, on the one that was hurt. What can our second ship do before? Yeah, B Force ammunition is very valuable once the sector pod comes in. Um, second sniper? It's a 3 in 4 chance. Do it, Ana Lucia. I don't think you will, will get flanked by that Sectopod next turn. It's so far away. There you go. Minus one elite. The other one is suppressed. So this turned out pretty well. Now, we can concentrate on the other movements. I think I want to do that run and gun thing. Over here. I guess. But then we will be out of... Yeah, well, I think I want to move away from the second part with my... With Peter, because I am so close to being... Killed or one-shotted. So, one, one and gun over here and then... Do some DME. Oh, right, I'll take the half cover. No, not rapid fire. One and gun, please. Thank Nearing you. Nearing strike range. Uh, over here. 
and then rapid fire this one two shots at 73 percent ah the second miss we have an iron will here steadfast we, we, we won't be intimidated all right so now we have another problem over here uh, we still have our infantry left though But we only what? That's the only target that we see from here. Artyom, please. Okay, Artyom moves Ready over here, takes location. his high cover. Sixty-one percent. That's no good. Okay, before needs to give cover to my scout. Actually, and now we also only see the drone from here. Hmm. So, oh, engineer is also still here. Ah. The engineer do. Cardi. We have a three health problem over here. What do we do with that? Cardi isn't going to do much. Although we have fla um, flashbangs. Could use these. Let's see. But we have to find cover in this direction. So here maybe. Or here, and then the flashbang won't help at all because On the move. we are too far away. But we have to find cover anyway. So move over here. Let's see how far. Oh, actually. Ah! Almost. Almost. Well. We don't, maybe we don't need to flash the other one, right? We can kill him with Iteon. But it's only a 61% chance. Okay. I'm considering maybe going on overwatch, but I the drone is there, so let's shoot him from here. That's a 60% chance. We can hit, yes! That's only fair because our rapid fire missed the second time. Alright, and now we could actually try an 80% chance on the drone here with B4. That should kill it if we did, yes. Mine's my drone. It's now the alien's move in the next turn but i won't trigger that yet because it's time to make a cut here so thanks for your interest guys and i will see you in the next episode most definitely i guess see ya